Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and please subscribe. Um, you guys, um, I am back over at my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. So if you want to get daily to almost daily love readings collective, I am uploading there again. Okay, so do go over and subscribe to my other channel. Do go over and check that out. They will um, try to get them up daily, but they will at least be daily or every other day. Um, some of you may still know me as Moon Pie Tarot. If you don't, yes, that is me. Go over and check out my other channel. And those will be just like a little extra bonus for the Virgos as well, but they will be collective. So I'm not calling any signs out there. Yeah, so um, personal reading link, description box below. If you want to join my OnlyFans, $3.99 a month and you will get some extra bonus readings over there as well with more spicier tarot cards the ones we can't use here okay so let's get into your reading Virgo sun moon rising or venus let's see what's coming up here so you have wedding rings union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise okay you going to chapel virgo going to the chapel mm, excuse me gonna go get married what are you doing Okay, karmic relationships. Some of you are going to finally decide, yeah, I married my karmic. F it. Nobody else is out there. Just got to make do. Talking, interested, conversing more. Awaited message dry, arrives. Text, call, email, hoovering. Fleeting, triggers. Your karmic is coming in. They want to marry you. That's the message. I'll see you later. Okay, you've got boat. Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on. Closure issues. I don't know. They're coming by boat? Like what? Or you have a relationship with someone? Who, they live on a boat <laughs> Virgo listen your karmic's coming in this person that you've been battling back and forth with like forever or this person who is just gets on your last nerve the person that's in and out person that like triggers you um, lessons learned letting go I'm letting go and I'm learning to love you okay Virgo I promise, I promise I'll make things right. I promise we'll be together. I want to marry you. I want to be forever and ever. Okay. Well, this took a turn. <laughs> All right, let's see. What are your romance angels? Yeah. Okay, this is it. Point blank period. This is a reconciliation. Okay, yeah. Your karmic wants to reconcile. Look, love on, I'll love on, up on you and all that jazz. Yeah. Okay, so... Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. So, I guess the lessons aren't finished. I feel like something's not... Wow, you got a bunch of cards. They're coming in to express their love. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. You are my soulmate. I'm so attracted to you. I've been keeping an open mind about things. No one else fits me. I'm just so passionate about you. There's definitely this karmic thing um happening here okay in october for sure and this person like to the max is totally is coming in to commit okay they're coming in to commit virgo that's all i can say right they've been thinking about it they've had you on their mind you know you guys listen i'm coming in i want to talk to you and you have to come in and talk to me. You have to listen to me. This is what I feel like this person's energy is, okay? They want to talk to you. Okay, could be a Gemini, could be a Libra, could be Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but they have some truth to tell. And they are definitely, like, they're not budging. They're sitting on this, like, cement stone bench. You might be sitting in a park. There might be this conversation at a park. We're sitting on, like, a stone bench together. The wind is kind of blowing. It's a, it's, a, it's a breezy day, there's clouds, but it's kind of a, like it's a blue sky kind of day, you know? There's people kind of gathering leaves in the park. I don't know what the hell. I just feel like they want to talk to you and tell you some truths here. They want to give you like, didn't want us to split up. I didn't want to get a divorce. I didn't want to separate. You know, are you still interested in me? I've been thinking about you. I guess this person's coming in super, super direct. I've been out wandering around on this boat. I've been on a boat. I've, I've sailed the seven seas. 
you know, and I've been doing all this like soul searching and, you know, I want to come back. I want to talk to you. I want to be with you. I want to, I want to, want to, want to, want to, want to. Well, see, you want what you really, really want. A little spicy action going on there. Okay, let me see. I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to. I wasn't even a fan of that group. Why am I even singing that song? I feel like I was... God, was that Spice Girls? I was so old when they came out. Like, I just was not that kid listening to that. I was just not a Spice Girl person. <laughs> but, like, the song, you can't not hear it in your head, you know? It's a catchy tune. What can I say? So, yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody might have red hair. Someone also might have super, super dark hair and um, have very tan skin or dark skin, I'm hearing. Okay, show us a card. Oh, yeah point blank so yeah they're coming in to talk swords out like truth overcoming some obstacles here this person wants to cut through some bs even their own even their own even going to take the knife they're going to put their hand out here's here's all my bs right here it is here here's a knife i'm going to cut right through it here and show you like i'm going to even cut out my own bs that's what i feel like is going on here okay Let's get serious. I'm being kind of silly, but let's get serious. Let's get physical. Physical. I have been a toxic dweeb. That's what I hear them saying, and I'm really sorry about that. I have just been so obsessed and so jealous and so concerned that you... Um, we're going to leave me for somebody else. All my insecurities came out. And everything karmic. Like all my insecurities. All my inability to just be in non, just to be non-insecure. My jealousy. My possessiveness. My control issues. My addiction. Bringing some toxic behavior. I was blaming. I was accusing. I was doing all that stuff. And I'm really sorry. And I, I really just... You know, like I'm coming in with some truth here. Like the devil had its claws on me. You know what I mean? This is like some Jack Daniels behavior here. Like at the whiskey go-go energy. I was completely like taking shots just to deal with my problems. And then I was getting out of control. Uh, maybe drinking and, and doing some bad stuff. And I was acting like, look, I put the drink down. Like I'm so sorry you know, I spilled too many drinks and, you know, never thinking about, like, I'm grieving, never thinking about how you felt. And, you know, I was just like, what? A lot of this energy playing out. <clears throat> now, I know it's not for all of you as far as, like, alcohol and stuff like that. But the, just the whole toxic energy stuff, yes. I feel like this person is coming in with that. I oh, really want to make things up to you. I really want to fix this thing. And I'm so in love with you. You know, that's that's what I feel like their energy is, expressing their love here, making these romantic gestures to you. Like, can we just sailing takes me away to it always? Um, what's the rest of the word? I thought it could be something like that. <sighs> sailing. Just can we just go away? Can we just take a trip? Let's go on a boat. Let's just can we just go out in the water and Virgo's like, why? Are you gonna like tie cement blocks to my feet and dump me down with the fishes? No, I don't think so. Virgo, why am I picking up that energy? <laughs> Do you not trust this person? Virgo's like, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, let me run to the bathroom real quick. And Virgo escapes out the window. <laughs> Virgo, I, I just kind of feel like you're... <coughs> You're not taking me hostage. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Who are you dealing with? <laughs> Virgo's like, you are so cautious with this person. I feel it. Oh, an avocado. Trash. I just, yeah, I just kind of feel like, let me see, like even the, uh, yeah, the fool is all about absence. <laughs> It's like, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, let's get back together. Uh, I'll call you. Can I call you later? And then, like, Virgo goes and changes her phone number. Um, no, I don't think you want this karmic kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, Virgo says no. Virgo's saying no. Virgo's like, you know what? 
you're like polishing this whole thing up for me and it's just a damn penny. It, all it is is it's worthless. It's just a penny. You're polishing up this penny to make me think that it's like, oh, look how shiny, you know, like a moth to a flame. But I know that's going to kill me. It's just, and it's worthless. That's kind of how I feel like you feel. Like, I don't know why. I don't know that you feel. I, I feel like, not that you feel the person, so to speak, is worthless. But you feel like trying this again is not going to work. So I'm not sure why. If you've gone, like, if you've been a fool before, you're not going to be a f Like the old saying, um... Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So I kind of feel like you don't want to get fooled again. Hello, the who? What's going on? You you just, you won't get fooled again. That's what I kind of feel like you're, you're like, no, we've been down this road. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm cautious. I'm just not going to do this again. Okay, like the trust. Are you kidding? You know how many years it's going to take to build back that trust? I mean, I haven't been on this planet that long. Like, are you kidding? I'm already like getting meatloaf passes at the senior citizens discount. Like how long do you think I'm going to live? It's good. Like I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to build trust. I'm just going to meet somebody new. I feel like that's what's going on here for you, Virgo. Okay. I get it. I understand. Let me see. That karmic stuff is. Yeah. Look. See. Ten of swords you're like no 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 like i pretty much like bottomed out that's what i feel like your energy is here you know rock bottom you bottomed out you're and you're you're not like you can't get any lower <laughs> i kind of feel like your energy is like if i go back to this like i could not get any lower if i return to a karmic devil kind of energy you know and it's kind of like well you know it's sad but you know what hey tough love i mean sometimes like people like what are you gonna do you know what i mean like when somebody is there and, and you miss the train like what's that train supposed to just turn around and just come back for you specifically because you were freaking late like dude catch another ride that's not fair to everybody else like you have to like suck it up <laughs> not you the other people like if you, you know what i mean like you gotta like when the op when the window opportunity is there and you don't take advantage of it at the time and that window closes, like the window's not gonna turn around and say, oh, I feel bad, let me come back and open my windows. No, it's, it doesn't work like that. Like you, you just gotta draw lines in the sand. It looks like you have, yeah. Like judgment day has come. Judgment day has come and gone. And, and it's not like you're passing judgment in a harsh way, but I just kind of feel like, you know, you have clarity. You know where you're going here. You know what you're doing, right? Like, you know, exes are exes for a reason. Karmic exes. Karmic exes. You know, there are, you know, I don't know. Something serious must have happened here. I don't know if somebody's just trying to recover. Because they're feeling grief or they're feeling like that's not a reason to marry somebody. That's not a reason to be with someone because if they're trying to like recover their own grief so they don't feel bad for too long. You know what I mean? Like that's like that's not a reason to want to be with someone. Like you want to be with someone because you truly love them. You don't want to be with them so that you can relieve your grief or your guilt. Like what the hell is that shit? That's about you. That's not about the person you love. You know, oh, I feel so bad. I'm just doing well. You know, I don't know. Go to a counselor. Work on yourself. I, I find that to be so insulting. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like if somebody's coming back to you and they want to make it up to you so, be, because they feel so bad inside, like that's about them. How selfish could you be? <laughs> I, I, I just can't with that. I just like I can't with that. I just feel like that's. Like you're not you're not stepping back here because you love me or because you truly want like uh, because you like you love us you love this relationship like the, you know because if you did none of this would have even come to the to fruition none of this ever would have happened it's because of your selfishness and you're still being selfish because now you want to come back to relieve yourself of your guilt and your remorse or because you don't feel like. You're good enough. That has nothing to do with 
anyone else but you. And that's where you have to like stop being such an egotistical ass in situations like that. Not you, Virgo, the other person. You know what I'm saying? Like, love, when we love someone, we accept them for who they are. We accept ourselves, right? We don't, like, don't let me go. Look, I could go off on that. I could. You know? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're just feeling sorry for yourself. you looking for a pity party. Them, them toxic exes looking for a pity party. Oh, they're looking for people to just sit down and be miserable with them. And this person is by themselves being miserable. And they're trying to drag you in it. And just kind of, it's like a little misery cake. But the frosting on the outside is like happy frosting. Oh, look, look, we could be so happy. And then they, like here, want a slice and it's like shit inside. Because they're miserable and then you be miserable. The Virgo's like, no, I'm out of here. Nope, 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 nope. You take your little dog Toto and get on, get on down the road. I, I don't, I don't see in October you driving forward in your car and looking in the rear view mirror. I just don't. With this toxic person. Now, you know, I'm, sh you know, if there's somebody else in your life that's in your past that you would give a chance to, that that's a d completely different story. I don't know who this toxic ass, whoever this toxic person is, this person did you dirty. They did you really bad. Like beyond. Like devil energy. Beyond. This is like one person. And I don't know if it's a lover or if it was like a family member or a friend. Like major betrayal. That this is one of those this is one of those situations or relationships that trying to forgive this hard. And, you know, I always talk about forgiveness on my channel because that's for you. But, man, these are this is one of those things where it's like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. And I hear you. This is tough, whoever this person is. And it looks like, you know, either you're not ready or you are just not having it. Absolutely not. Get away from me. Stay away from me. I don't want anything to do with you. Don't even come down my street. Don't even call my phone. Don't even talk to my family or talk to anybody that I know. Stay away. Distance. Restraining order distance. This this is what this feels like. What? This is something. This is a message. This is a message. Virgo's like, you know what? Let God deal with your ass. When you get to the pearly gates, that's on you. I don't know what this person did, Virgo, but they did you dirty somehow, some way. They did like some, they did some serious betrayal. Look at this. That's some serious betrayal to the point where you're like face down on the ground. Look at that. Stabbed in the back. Not once, not twice, not thrice, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Major. To you or like soul. And you just had like little gas of breath left. And just a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel there just to survive whatever it is that you went through and this person has a selfish goal to come back and try to relieve themselves they might as well stand on your grave and just whip it out and start peeing because that's what i feel like this person is really doing just trying to relieve themselves of their whatever their loneliness their guilt this is a harsh reading and i know this isn't for some everybody this has just got to be for somebody i don't know who i'm tapping into and believe me, you guys, I'm in a great mood. I had a really good day. So I don't know, just something. Just something showing up here. Yeah, this person wanting to come in, tell you how much they love you. Have that heart to heart. Express, express your love. Little Madonna vibes there. Be all passionate on you. I don't know. Start talking to you. Definitely going to be getting a text, call, email, that hoovering. Maybe this person's a... Oh my goodness, what's happening to me? Maybe this person is like, um, you know, that karmic energy. Mm, turmoil. <sighs> maybe they're in the, you know... Maybe they're in the... Um, the big N word, you know. You know, when I was in high school... The word narc used to mean somebody, we would say like there's a narc in school. And it used to mean somebody that was in class that was 
telling on it would be like a police officer who or an undercover school um police that looked like a kid that would rat you rat people out if they had weed <laughs> or drugs or something or if they were selling or using it in school yeah like um 21 jump street that that's what it was that's that's what we used to call narcs now today it's a totally different <laughs> meaning you know what i mean but um so maybe i mean i'm not saying it's johnny depp <laughs> in that role but you know i was thinking narc maybe that's the type of energy you have here um today's meaning you know that kind of person yeah so look at that hmm Yeah, Virgo, um, hmm. I, I, I feel like, um, you know, with the, with the holidays coming, you know, I, most of my viewers are here in the U.S., so I'm just going to speak to the majority. But with the holidays coming, you got like um, Halloween is coming, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that, you know, at least the major commercial holidays that are coming, um. Virgo, I feel like you need to get out into your life a little bit here. Socialize. Go out and have some drinks or connect with some friends. I feel like this person coming into your life, kind of like making a beeline back around towards you. Um, you don't want to be alone during this. You need the support of your family and friends. And uh, people, look at the pumpkin, right? That should be one of my next questions. Look at the pumpkin yeah getting out there and um i don't know go have some spice lattes with some friends spike it with a little rum or something speaking of johnny depp where's the rum where's the rum so like i feel like because you might want to be kind of like on your own you might kind of overthink this whole thing or this person it might trigger you because karmic relationships do have a tendency when they come back around to trigger a little bit you know what i mean especially if they come in unannounced or in a surprising kind of way they can trigger just be aware you know especially you know i mean a lot of years can go by a lot of years and sometimes these types of people they lie in wait they do they kind of wait for they'll wait they'll wait a really long time um till they think you're over it or they think that you are like moved on and that you don't have any anger anymore or that you're just like gonna forgive them and then they kind of show back up again so that they can kind of like reel you back in so i feel like you need to be around your support group whatever that means either you're listening to this now and and you and listen these these types they tend to hoover around the holidays so i don't i guess this is what we're talking about this is where it feels like it's going so i feel like you need to like get real you know you need to get like a um what they used to call them in school like a like a little buddy <laughs> you need a little buddy you know you go on your trip like a little walking buddy <laughs> you need to buddy up with someone to kind of just you know be like oh hey got any time i need like a you need a little distraction <laughs> keep your mind off this in case you get a trigger before you get triggered with this person coming in because i feel like they're coming in heavy duty and they're coming in to cuff coming into cuff and when i say cuffing i'm serious like this person is they're gonna try to cuff you in now maybe you want that i don't know you do what you want i'm just giving you the message okay I'm not telling you what to do i'm just telling yep here you go i saw this early i knew it was going to show up page of cups yeah here you go sweet little message coming in here for you Virgo I'm sorry I'm so sorry I'm sorry so sorry yeah coming in with that working their magic oh my goodness Virgo they're gonna oh man this person's gonna lay it all out on the table they're really gonna use every trick in the book I am telling you This magician, I know you can't see it, but he has a um, snake around his waist as a belt. The snake charmer. Snake charmer, watch out. Snake oil, snake charmer. Look at that, even that infinity symbol. Little snake, sneaky snake. Mm. 
yeah you got something going on here for sure um okay i got the healing medicine oh my gosh they just they just gave me an image of an old song a video it's marvin gay singing sexual healing do you remember that song i just saw his face I got the magic elix elixir for the actual healing. I'm not saying the full word, but yeah. A little bit of that. Oh gosh, Virgo. <laughs> Bath time. <laughs> Skinny dipping. I don't know who's, well, I guess it depends where you live, but getting in the water, oils, bath, massage. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Virgo, yeah. The full nine yards. Full nine yards. I'll even buy you a massage here or here i'll give you one look at this new roller thing i got oh let me try it on you it works really good i don't even know what i'm talking about but there's some kind of like thing that somebody uses like for massage like some kind of ball or something to help with like massage yes i'm gonna try this on you oh my gosh it'll you'll feel so good oh my goodness gracious this person what 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 they're good Oh, I could see why you get triggered, Virgo. This person is really good. Okay, Queen of Cups, yeah. So they get into the emotion thing. They they get you with that. At least that's how they're gonna get you with the emotion, the emotional massage. Oh yes, they're gonna rub your emotions the right way. Oh, Virgo, you better watch out. You better not pop. You better not cry. I'm telling you why. All right, let's see. Yeah, look at that. That looks like one of those uh, shiatsu massage things. Yeah, they're going to get you at the neck, work their way down. What kind of readings am I doing these days? I don't even know. Can somebody help me? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what's going on. Little shiatsu. Maybe someone's a massage therapist. Oh, or you, maybe you'll offer to give them a massage. Oh gosh, be careful. There we go. You might be getting into it. You're getting into it. Mm, 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 mm. Little elbow action between the shoulder blades. Oh gosh, Virgo. Okay. Listen, I'm just telling you. This is just what I'm seeing here. That, yeah, this person is coming in with all with all the with all the with all the with all the trimmings okay yes with all the trimmings they're going they're coming in with the gift and the pretty bow and and all the trimmings and everything and that major love bomb and energy coming in here to really get you lit up and 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 this this whole thing is going to last pretty much until january i just want you to know they just said so it's gonna go we're in october november december january and it'll fade out sometime like start to fade out by march of next year so this is going to be kind of like a six month little thing okay but it, it's it's going to start heating up it, like i feel like it's going to be a total of six months but it's going to really heat up coming in october then through november and december and start like come to an end around january ish and then start to fizzle out around march and then you'll be looking back and like what the hell happened yeah so this person buyer beware that's all i'm saying buyer beware yep in like a lion out like a lamb this knight of wands yeah this person is going to be in so fast yeah there's a snake yeah coming in to have that make that connection oh yeah look but then the lovers came in reverse so it's never going to get to where you want it to go and it and the reason why it's not is because it was never intended to with this person yeah, so I'm just repeating the same thing. You know the story. I feel like a lot of you have been on this road before, right? And and listen, why am I repeating this? You know this, right? Some of you are new here. Some of you are new to all of this, and you're not used to this story. 
some of you are still in that place where, well, if they keep coming back, they must, they must really be, they must really love me. If they keep returning, I must be doing something wrong if they keep leaving. No, it's not. See, they get you to think it's you, to think it's your fault. They, it's called, it's called management. They condition you to make you do more. And then every time they leave, you would think that you're doing something wrong. So you got to do more and do more and do more to get them to stay. And then you've completely sold your soul to the devil. And then they're gone for good for a long time until they come back again. And then you're so happy that they returned. You think, oh my God, I never thought you were going to come back again. After all I've done, you finally appreciate me. No, no, they don't. Just whatever they were doing on the other side of the, the field, they got bored of. That's how that works, you know? So don't think that this person is an empty vat of nothingness. No matter how much you put into it, it just falls right through the hole. They don't, there's never any, there's never enough you can do for this person. You would completely deplete yourself into absolute nothingness. And you'll have nothing for yourself and then you'll be gone. You absolutely cannot give to this person. They're like a black hole. They just suck the life out of you. You can't give anything if you want to save yourself you know and then when they're done sucking you dry they go suck somebody else dry until you recuperate and replenish and they've drained the soul out of the other person they come back and they're like hey how you doing you know I've been thinking about things yeah I really miss you uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking I've been sailing the seven seas I wonder if we could talk. Can we talk? <laughs> and if you're not prime and protected for this, you walk right on in again. And then the draining commences. So beware. Buyer beware. These types. These types, they're out there. Where? What are we doing next, you guys? What, what, what other message are we doing next here? Um... I'm trying to get myself set up because I set myself up on a completely different desk to do my other channel because I'm doing messages a little bit differently over there. I have a different setup, so I left my cards over there. I'm not getting up to go get them. Um, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little bit raunchy here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a little Virgo crazy here. I'm just gonna throw a couple of cards at you that are little uh, taboo oh all right so don't effing force things or it Virgo allow that ish to come to you okay whatever that is I feel like I said all I need to say about this person okay I feel like that was your message step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second kale and spirulina taste like ash <laughs> Eat some yummy-ish bacon chocolate beer. Get some. And pizza. Pizza is always good. Okay. Make better effing choices, Virgo. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Ooh. That was pretty damn straightforward. Um, eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Eat some effing vegetables. I mean, I'm not really feeling those cards too much today, but it is what it is. Let's just go right into your other things here. Scorpio, Capricorn, September 3rd. Anybody remember the QVC channel? Do they still have that channel? I have not seen that anywhere. But they just told me QVC. Okay, we have the letter L. We have the letter H. Now, just keep in mind, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. Some messages may or may not resonate for you. Take what fits. Leave the rest. Okay. And personal reading link is in the description box below this video. Okay. Someone's born in 1985. September 5th is a birth date. 1970. Either 1960 or someone is 60. 1966 or, or their age 66. We have 54, 
we also have Sagittarius. Okay, did I say September 11th? Because if not, hey. Okay, 68, 58, 61, 53, uh, 85, 86. I'm doing this again. Okay. Can I get a vowel for... All right, somebody's a liar. I just heard that. Okay, we got the name Len, Leonard or Lenny. Okay, it's chalk. We have Kaylin or Caleb. Okay. Um, oh, we got Scorpio, Capricorn, and Virgo. I just rolled those. Why did that do that again? Leo, Aries, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Libra. Okay, we've got Leia. We have, okay, hold on. Hold your horses. I just heard late, latent, latent. Okay, we have the name Clay. Um, uh, we have Lane. We have Neil. We have Lance. Okay, this is definitely like Scrabble, isn't it? This is like Scrabble. We have Nance or Nancy. Okay. We have Nate or Nat, Natalie. Um, Lace or Lacey. Okay. And... Andy, 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 and these are eyes. Okay. I said Tina. Did I say Lena? Okay. And let me just get a, another shuffle here. Oh. Okay. Rama. Rama. Rhea or Rima? Rina? Reba? Poor Steve-O. You don't have to write all the names out when I say them because I know it gets a little crazy. Mayer or Meyer. Um, someone works for the, someone's a mail person, delivers mail. Uh, we have Jer or Jerm or Jeremy. Jeremy Spooken, Spooken. Uh, Jermaine. I'm hearing Jermaine. Or someone lives in Maine. <clears throat> for sure, for sure. Um, rain, R A I N. Rain. Okay. Uh, Arnie. You got Arnie. Okay. Um, so I'll put those aside. And the one thing that fell out here is a star with a fairy in it. I feel like. Did we have that the other day? Yeah. It's a star with like a Tinkerbell fairy. Um, so I feel like this is like a wish for you to make some kind of a wish. And I know your birthday is already passed. Um, but take a moment after this video, pause when the video ends or just stop it. And before you go do anything else, I mean, if, you, if you're driving, don't close your eyes or anything. Just... Um, Stop it before you put the radio on or do anything. Just make a quiet, silent wish. You know, wherever you are. Um, as long as you're safe. Or just remember if you can take a moment to pause. Once you get to a safe place, make a wish. Okay. I feel like this fairy... Um, she's waiting to grant a wish for you. Some of you might be like, I wish, please grant the wish that this person doesn't come back in. <laughs> and I'm hoping for you that that will actually come true. Let me just get another charm. Okay. Interesting. That's weird. 
I don't know exactly what this is called, but this is a very, um, this is an axe, but it's like a medieval axe. Can you guys see it? Yeah, this is some kind of a medieval axe. And it's an axe on both sides. There's blades on both sides. So it's like, whatever way you swing, you can't miss. <laughs> so I don't know, Virgo. I feel like you need to protect yourself from cover all your bases. That's what I feel like the message is here. You know, I don't know. Maybe you collect medieval axes or you go to those Renaissance festivals. I'm sure there's some coming up now with the Halloween, the fall, and all that. Um, maybe you take part in them or you go to them or something. You might find something like this. You're looking for something like this. And for others of you, you know... Um, I got invited to go at the end of October um, to dress up to go scare people in one of those Halloween things. So um, maybe you do something like that. Are you going to be doing something like that? Dressing up and, you know, doing like haunted houses and stuff. It's so much fun. Get to put on the makeup and get out there and just spook the crap out of people. <laughs> Although I have to tell you, if there's little kids, I'm not scaring little kids. Like, I just don't do that. I think that's effed up i think that's so cruel i won't do that to little children like i'll do it to adults i'll, I'll like if i see it i'll jump on their back i don't even care but it's little kids like no don't do that to little kids that's there's they get like no anyway um so yeah something to do with a medieval axe you might be seeing especially in the month of october something coming up for you and you know i can't i cannot let myself live my i cannot let myself live this down but I swear, every time I see this stupid owl, this horned owl, I can't forget. I feel like a complete idiot for saying <laughs> that it was a cat bird. <laughs> I just cannot even believe I said that. Oh, the things you say on your videos that are in the ether forever and ever and ever. Oh, well, when you put yourself out there, that's how it goes. But anyway... This is pretty apropos for the holiday, for the, the fall season, for the crunchy leaves, pumpkin coffees, apple cider, all that good stuff. So, you know, um, I don't know, maybe you're an owl lover. I don't, I don't think I've ever really seen an owl up close unless it was in a zoo. Over where I live, we don't have really wilderness here. Um, pretty much suburb city area. So maybe you see owls a lot, but if you don't and you see one, then this is definitely a message for you that you, uh, this reading has your name on it, okay? Um, so do keep that in the back of your mind. And, uh, or if you hear one late at night that you don't normally hear, if you're someone who's used to owls, you see them all the time, you hear them all the time, this probably won't be significant for you. But <clears throat> if you see, it's always if you see or hear an owl that's completely off base or in a strange place, you're not used to it, that's when it really will be important for you all right virgo i'm gonna leave that there for you don't forget go on over to my other channel moon pie tarot <clears throat> before i was uploading before just got pretty distracted with other things with the summer and stuff but i have to upload again or else youtube's gonna shut me down on both channels so i'll be over there so go over there and subscribe and take the notification bell to be alerted when i upload videos over there and I'll try to do, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it at the same time as this channel to upload. I might do it um, maybe a little earlier. So if the mods want to pop in there, you don't have to. I don't think, I, it's been like 11 months since I've up, uploaded there. I don't think there's going to be anybody in the chat. The algorithm is going to take quite some time to kick my videos back up again. But if you guys want to pop in the chat just amongst yourselves and chit chat, that's great. Awesome. And put some likes on the video and help bump it up. That'd be great. All right, you guys, enough about all that. Thanks for watching and I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right. Take care. Love you. Love you. So many things that I learned